is the busiest day of Labor Day travel weekend for those taking to the skies and millions more across the nation taking a road trip. ABC's Morgan Norwood has everything you need to know before you head out to your holiday destination. The Labor Day travel rush is here. Families from coast to coast packing out airports and what's expected to be a record breaking turnout. Have you seen the line this crazy before? No, never. TSA bracing for peak crowds expecting to screen 2.86 million people. The busiest airports this holiday weekend, Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth and Atlanta, where airport officials warn that weather is the wild card. Across the country, at least 160 reports of damage due to storms. From Virginia to Minnesota yesterday, with a new threat now aiming for parts of the Midwest and Southeast. No one can ever control Mother Nature, so just always be prepared. For most airports, the mornings will be the busiest time, but for international hubs, the evenings will be pretty packed too. But look, it's not just the skies, the roads will be busy as well, with AAA expecting millions more Americans will take a road trip this Labor Day weekend. Typically, with any holiday, 85 to 90 percent of travelers go by car. It's the most convenient and likely the most cost effective for a family. The universal good news for drivers is that gas prices have dropped substantially from a year ago, from 381 down to 335 for a gallon of regular unleaded. So if you are hitting the roads today, the worst of the traffic will be this afternoon and evening. Tomorrow morning, well, it's the opposite. Busy in the morning and easier later. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.